Hi, I want to play a game with you. In the description below or in my notes, there's a link where you can click and go to this website. And further in, you can see the FAT simulation. And let me just introduce to you how we can play around with it first. So first of all, let's go to the tab of introduction. And so you can see uh, here is like the seesaw, right? Which you may find in the real life in the playground. And so what we can have is uh, we can change the seesaw without the support. And so maybe before that, or you can put things on it and you'll find out, oh, because of the position, even both of these things are 5 kg for both fire extinguisher. However, obviously because this is further away and therefore this would tilt to the right in this case, or you can call uh, this to be clockwise direction. And so there's a place probably where you can locate this rubbish bin on the left hand side somehow uh, at a certain position so that it will be balanced. So let me just try maybe here. Okay, obviously this is terrible. Maybe here. Yeah, this is how you can balance it. So in order to let you understand the physics behind, let's try to do a simple investigation. So I'll reset the whole thing. I'll enable like seeing the distance as well. And now let me give you a question. If I put this fire extinguisher, 5 kg, at this position, one meter away from the pivot, where should I put the rubbish bin on the other side so that it will be balanced? Open the simulation now and try it yourself. A few moments later. Okay, the answer is actually at 0 0.5 meter away from the pivot and Voila, you can see it is balanced directly. To explain why it can balance, we have to learn an idea called moment. And it is written on the note here where you can calculate the moment, which is also the turning effect about a point uh, by using the equation force times the perpendicular distance from a point. So in our case here, this is going to be the point that we take reference to. Actually, you can take any point. But then if you just consider this to be you know simple for you to understand, then you can see that this fire extinguisher with its weight, which is going down, then this will give a clockwise moment, uh, which would turn the seesaw in that direction. While the rubbish bin with its weight will also turn the seesaw, however, in the anti-clockwise direction. And so we are trying to calculate that and try to balance these two so that it will cancel out the effect. So according to the equation, the moment is calculated by force times distance and therefore from the rubbish bin, the torque which is going in the anti-clockwise direction is going to be 10 times g because if you recall the force which is the weight equals to weight equals to mg and so mass is 10 uh, g is, well, I'll just take g as uh, 10 or you can just keep it as g. And the distance is going to be 0 0.5 and therefore the torque, uh, if I take g as 10, it will be 50. With the unit of force times distance and therefore it's newton times meter. Similarly, for the torque on the right by the fire extinguisher, again it will go in a clockwise direction and the force is going to be 5 times g times 1 because it's 1 meter away from the pivot and therefore it's 50 times 1 so 50 simply uh, nano sorry not nano uh, newton meter and therefore you can see the two torque which are both 50 newton meter however they again in the opposite direction uh, they will cancel each other and therefore this whole system, the seesaw and these two objects will stay in place. So if you're okay with the calculation and this whole idea, I would like to challenge you. Let me tell you what it is. Go back to the main menu, go and click game. You can see there are four different levels. Uh, apparently level one is easier and level four is the hardest. So my challenge to you is go to that game to level four and you have to do it flawlessly that means you have to get all the questions correct there will be a few questions coming to you and you have to answer them correctly and i would i would want to see your time record the best record so far 
was only 58 seconds in 2016 from one of my students, Harrison. Okay, so now let me just demonstrate to you slowly. Okay, I can do faster than that. But I'll demonstrate to you slowly first to let you understand uh, what is going to happen. Okay, so I would I think I have to unclick this uh, because the version is kind of updated. So uh, there are some new function I guess coming up, and then I'll just click level four. I think the time yes you can see the time is clicking. Uh, there are six questions in total. I think it's the same as the previous years, so it didn't really change much. Uh, you are allowed to use ruler or mark. I think I'll just stick with rulers. Okay, and then uh, here you have to guess what will happen. So I guess obviously it will tilt to the left. Yeah, so then you can get the marks. Go to the next question. Uh, here uh, you have to guess it correctly. And so there's no chance where you can all oh, keep doing trial and error. Uh, so what you have to do is really you have to use the calculation that you just learned from the example earlier and try to apply on that. So here on the left, we actually got uh, two moments which is going anti-clockwise so it will be three times two from this bucket plus two times 0 0.75 because they are both going in anti-clockwise direction and this girl uh, I mean in total it will be 7.5 and so this girl would uh, take 30 kg and therefore if you use this to divide 30 kg it's going to be 0 0.25 so this is how you can get the answer accurately without guessing okay for this one uh, is is another type so what you have to do is you have this this one you have to do try and error to find out how it can be balanced using this information then it means the moment are equal and so in this case uh, the barrel would have 90 times 0 0.25 which is 22.5 and then the distance of the rock is 0 0.75 and therefore is 30 can I enter? Not really. Okay, in the past I can just type. So now we have to drag. So that may take us some more time. Anyway, okay, and this will be the same. Uh, for this one, it's a bit more tricky. I think you will have to calculate, but I think it's on the right one will be like tilt uh, downward. So let me try. So right hand side moment is 50 with that unit. Left hand side 30 times 1.5 plus 5 times 0 0.5 which is 47.5 so very close but then yes right hand side is um, heavier in a way not really like you shouldn't use the word heavier but you know the moment is greater and therefore it turned that way okay we have to guess again yeah this is the one that takes us the time the most okay so this is balance and then 10 okay okay oh by the way I skipped uh, the when I calculate that I should actually use weight but because both of the object will have the G and therefore I just ignore it I just use the mass to calculate um, anyway so here we've got on the left hand side 2 times 1 plus 40 times 0 0.25 divide 6 which is 2 okay and this is how uh, you can do it. I mean, yes, the time is not really good, uh, but I, I think you get the idea. What do you say? Did you just say you want to see me playing this seriously? Your wish is granted. Kiss, keep your eyes open.
Very easy, isn't it? So go and try out this game right now. At least try to beat once or maybe twice or even try to beat the record. You can actually do it. Tell us your time in the comment section below. I hope you enjoy learning physics with me. If you do so, please hit the like button now and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again in next video. Bye.